First U.S. military action under Biden draws criticism. Biden's approval of U.S. air raids in Syria targeting facilities used by Iranian-backed militias criticized in the Middle East. U.S. President Joe Biden's authorization of military air raids in eastern Syria on Thursday has drawn criticism in the Middle East. The United States military said it carried out measured attacks on facilities in eastern Syria used by Iran-backed militias, in response to rocket attacks against U.S. targets in Iraq. Some commentators said there was a clear effort to draw a distinction between Biden and his predecessor Donald Trump, who in response to attacks on coalition forces in Iraq used the most disproportionate force by killing the Iranian general, Qasem Soleimani. CII Mohammad Mrandi, a professor of English literature and Orientalism at the University of Tehran said the move showed how Biden and Trump are the same. Syria said the air raids were a cowardly act and urged Biden not to follow the law of the jungle. Syria condemns in the strongest terms the cowardly U.S. attack on areas in Deir al-Zer near the Syrian-Iraqi border, the Syrian foreign ministry said in a statement. It, the Biden administration, is supposed to stick to international legitimacy, not to the law of the jungle as, did, the previous administration. Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesman Saeed Khatib Zeda said the air strikes were illegal aggression and a violation of human rights and international law, Iran state media reported. U.S. journalist Manmo Eldon drew a timeline to show similarities between Biden's move and several former U.S. presidents. The U.S. has long been criticized for military intervention in several Muslim-majority countries such as Iraq and Libya and imposing regime change leading to political chaos and instability. In the U.S., the move was also met with condemnation. Hillary Mann Leverett, CEO of the political risk consultancy Strataga, said while the air raid sent a message about the Biden administration's loyalties in the region, they would not defuse the situation in the Middle East. The Biden administration is trying to portray this first military attack as measured in consultation with allies. But this won't de-escalate anything. In fact, it signals very strongly a message to Iran that, the Biden administration is in fact trying to increase its pressure and leverage against Iran. The rocket attacks on U.S. positions in Iraq were carried out as Washington and Iran are looking for a way to return to the 2015 nuclear deal abandoned by former U.S. President Trump. It was not clear how, or whether, the raid might affect U.S. efforts to coax Iran back into a negotiation about both sides resuming compliance with the agreement. Mary Ellen O'Connell, a professor at Notre Dame Law School, criticized the U.S. attack as a violation of international law. The United Nations Charter makes absolutely clear that the use of military force on the territory of a foreign sovereign state is lawful only in response to an armed attack on the defending state for which the target state is responsible, she said. None of those elements is met in the serious strike. Justin Amash a U.S. lawyer who formerly served as the representative for Michigan's 3rd Congressional District said the move was unconstitutional. Still, some observers showed support for the air raids. Rep. Michael McCall, the top Republican on the House Foreign Affairs Committee, said the attacks were the right move. Responses like this are a necessary deterrent and remind Iran, its proxies, and our adversaries around the world that attacks on U.S. interests will not be tolerated, McCall said. Suzanne Maloney, of the Brookings Institution think tank, said the attacks showed the Biden administration could negotiate with Iran on the nuclear deal while pushing back against the militias it backed. In the February 15 attack, rockets hit the U.S. military base House Erbil International Airport in the Kurdish-run region killing a non-American contractor and injuring a number of American contractors and a U.S. service member. Another salvo struck a base hosting U.S. forces north of Baghdad days later, hurting at least one contractor. Rockets hit Baghdad's Green Zone on Monday, which houses the U.S. Embassy in other diplomatic missions. Earlier this week, the Khatib Hezbollah group, one of the main Iran-aligned Iraqi militia groups, denied any role in the rocket attacks.